Hi, I'm Janet Riley, and I'm with the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council. Today I'm here to talk to you about charcuterie. Charcuterie is a word that has different meanings to different people. To some, charcuterie is a French culinary art that dates back to the 15th century. To others, it's a deli-style store where cured meats and air-dried sausages are produced and sold. And to others, it's a platter like this one of meats and cheeses that can be enjoyed at a party. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to prepare your own charcuterie platter in your home. It's very easy and very trendy. The key to a, an appealing and tasty charcuterie platter is to incorporate different colors, textures, and flavors. Here you see a variety of cheeses. You've got a nice Dutch Gouda and a Gruyere. You've also got a nice salami along with an Italian ham and a cooked mortadella. I've also added some olives and some cornichon, along with some crackers of different shapes, and I've tossed on a few pecans for added texture. Now I'm gonna actually walk you through making another charcuterie platter. I'm gonna start with this delicious looking peppered salami. Now this is probably too large for my charcuterie platter, so I'm actually gonna cut it in half. Now that I've cut the salami in half, I'm gonna slice a few thin pieces to lay in front of the log on the platter. It's convenient and it gives it some very nice color and presentation. Now that I've sliced a few pieces, I'm gonna transfer it to my charcuterie board here. And I've chosen a manchego to complement it. It's a very mild, firm cheese and it's got a very pretty uh, yellow color that will contrast nicely with the salami. This manchego is a bit too much, so I'm going to simply cut it in half and it's always nice to use these identifiers to show people what kind of cheese they're eating. To add more color and texture, I'm going to show you how to prepare these prosciutto-wrapped breadsticks as well. Prosciutto is a very salty, very thinly sliced ham. It can be very sticky to work with, so the colder it is, the easier it is to handle. Lay your breadstick on top and wrap the tip of the ham around it, and then simply roll. So now I'm going to arrange these on my charcuterie platter at the end and try to arrange them in kind of an interesting stacked way crisscross. The other thing I'm going to do is add some salami that's been rolled up into interesting shapes. I've quartered these and put a toothpick through them so that they give you almost a little flower kind of appearance and the toothpicks make it easy for people to pick them up. Now next, I'm going to take some mortadella, which is a cooked sausage and has a nice contrasting color, taste, and texture. And I'm going to add a few slices of rolled up mortadella, which is a key ingredient in an Italian sub, like so. Now, a nice coarse grainy mustard adds a nice complement, so I'm going to add that there. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is shell some pistachios and scatter those. Pistachios are a really nice accent, adding again more texture, and they're often used to accent the flavors of the mortadella. And so here you have it, a very pretty, colorful, and textured charcuterie. Now, I've paired it with some interesting crackers in different shapes and colors, and with some rustic, crusty bread here. And then for wine, you want some nice full-bodied reds, like a Cabernet or an Australian Shiraz. And here you go, an easy, elegant appetizer for your party. Each charcuterie plate is like a work of art, as you can see, two very different, but both very pretty and interesting plates. So feel free to experiment and create your own work of art. And for tips about how to prepare a charcuterie plate, be sure to visit www hot-dog.org and go to our new guide to charcuterie. Enjoy!